this week I wanted to use a story to get some creative ideas. The story is called The Dot by Peter Reynolds and it starts with a little girl called Vashti. The art class was over but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a felt tip pen and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolours and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red and she discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colours. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colours with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Please, sign it. didn't know where to start. She probably felt quite afraid to draw. But once her teacher had let Vashti know how special her dot was, well, then she couldn't stop. She kept on going, making more and more dots. Imagine how happy she felt making all those different dots. 
and she became so confident that she was able to encourage other children who were afraid too. So why don't we do the same? Shall we make a dot and see where it takes us? We're going to draw a squiggle. This is just ordinary paper. And I'm going to close my eyes and draw a big squiggle. And now I'm starting to colour it in. I'm looking for shapes that I think I can make a picture out of. And what will your squiggle turn into? Will it be a mystical creature? Will it be a faraway land? Will it be somebody you haven't met yet? they say to you? And what will you say to it? I'm going to use a black marker for my next job. There's my dot, and it's going for a walk. I don't really know what direction it's going to go in. I'm letting the pen do all the walking. It feels so nice to hear the pen on the paper. It feels smooth. My lines are curvy, and some of them are straight. But I'm not allowing my lines to bump into each other or even touch. This is an abstract drawing. That means that it doesn't look like anything. drawing is about the marks, about the shapes. It's not a picture of anything. It's the opposite of realistic. drawing so that I can make the best art I ever could or so that it can go on the wall. No, I'm making it because it feels nice. It feels really good to do and I'm really enjoying moving my pen across the page and seeing what my dot will turn into. I've got my colouring pens now because I'm going to add some colour. I don't really know what I'm going to colour every little piece. I think I'm just going to see as I go. So here's my finished piece. 
I really enjoyed making this and actually I just want to make another one so I think I will.